on. How's everybody doing? Or if anybody's here. Okay. Oh. Turn down the volume. All right. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. And y'all, I have a ton of ribbon. If you've seen my, um, my craft room tour, you saw all the ribbon I have. And um, there's been more purchased. <laughs> I love ribbon, um, but I actually have a ton of uh, specific kinds of ribbon. So I have a ton of Christmas, and I buy them at Sam's and at Hobby Lobby and Michael's, and they come in 50-yard rolls, and it takes me years most of the time to go through the, the different ribbons. Um, and then, yes, Jamie. Yes, honey. <laughs> but I have run out of room to store it. So, um, and I want to be able to buy new. <laughs> so I have to use some of the stuff that I've got um, to make room for some new stuff. So um, I'm doing this to, uh, so I can uh, get my craving for, for new ribbon. I actually have a place to put it so my craft room doesn't get crazy. So, I have been watching at ways to use ribbon, um, and I know I'm not the only one that when you go to Dollar Tree and you find um, a ribbon, you know it's not going to be there again, so you buy three or four of them, and you put them up on your shelf, and then you don't use them. <laughs> I've said this before, um, purchasing and owning craft supplies and actually using them are two different hobbies. Anyway. Um, I'm trying to combine them both and actually use some of the stuff that I own. But, I, and, and I didn't intend to make a Christmas wreath today. I was just trying to find four different kinds of ribbon that um, I had enough of that worked together um, to make this ribbon wreath. So, I have a Sam's Club. If you're not from the South, I don't think they're all over. But you can buy this ribbon for seven dollars and um oh girl <laughs> let me show you a really good way to use them up um six dollars and ninety something cents and there's 50 yards on these things um, and then Of course, the, the red and black buffalo check. Um, it was really difficult for me to use. I love buffalo check. Um, but this regular price is $50. And I think this celebrated, is it Hobby Lobby or Michael's? I don't even remember. Um, anyway, but I don't buy it unless it's half off. So that would be $7.50. So the price is comparable. And there's... 75 feet. How many yards is that, y'all? <clears throat> I don't remember. Sam's is the best buy, and the ribbon is awesome. I bought some of the spring stuff, but I couldn't, I couldn't figure out. I needed four that go together. So I was looking at all of my ribbons, and I found this one. And uh, I know I have the red and black buffalo check. I know I have the black and white buffalo check. Uh, currently have four bags. There's another one coming up. That's Michael's. Yes. Yes. After ribbon. After after ribbon. After Christmas sale. Uh, anyway, so I knew I had the black and white and the red and black buffalo check. I did not buy any of the green and black. I don't know why. I probably should have. So, and then it has the gold on the outside of it. And I was trying to find another ribbon to kind of match that. And I had this, which is another Sam's Club. I'm looking up there. Yeah, I think I got this at Sam's last year. And then, of course, I had the red and black and the black and white buffalo check. So, what you are going to need is about 10 yards of each one of these ribbons. 
So, if you get 50 yards on this, you could make one wreath and have some left over for seven, uh, four wreaths and have some left over for about 10 bucks. And that is really, really cheap. Now, I was trying to do some, I did another wreath with Dollar Tree ribbon. I had a lot of fall ribbon um, that really wasn't the best quality. And this is a good, this is a good wreath to use that for. Um, because when you, when you like, just like the flowers, they're not the best quality, but when you put a bunch of them together, it makes them look a lot better. So, but you end up spending what's $3 and 75 cents. You need, you need nine to 10 yards. You end up spending $3 and 75 cents just on one 10 yard and you need four of those. So y'all, I'm, I'm not doing math right now. And my calculator's on my phone, so $3.75 times four, plus your wreath frame, and zip ties. So, 125 250 plus $7, this is going to be a $10 wreath. And I'm using the Sam's Club ribbon and the Michaels ribbon. So... It actually comes out cheaper to use the department store ribbon than it does to use the Dollar Tree, but it is also a really good wreath to make and use up all of those spools because those spools have, what, nine feet on them? Not enough. Nine feet. So um, let me show you the one that I did while I was watching Hyla the other day. And this is all Dollar fall ribbon. Now by themselves they look cheap. But when you put a bunch together you really can't tell that it's dollar store stuff. But y'all, I used a lot of my rolls of ribbon. So put this up. <coughs> anyway, I'm going to tilt y'all down. Thank you, Jamie. I'm going to tilt y'all down. And I put my phone on backwards. That's okay. I'm going to tilt you down and we're going to get started on this. You're not going to see my face, but you need to be able to see what I'm doing here. <clears throat> First thing I did was I measured out 10 yards of one ribbon. And then I used that to measure out the other four. And then I basically rolled them together to where they're all together here. Y'all, I've never made this one before, so we're going to learn this together. So you're going to leave them all stacked up, and I'm going to find a crossbar right here. Jamie, how uh, is the view okay? It looks like it is to me. And then I'm going to gather up the end, put it down, and we're going to work on these two. So you have the outside the inside and then these two in the middle. We're going to work around these two pieces right here. And I don't know what size these are. Multi-packs from Dollar Tree. And I am just going to go around these two. And I am going to bring it to where I'm on one. Let me move this. One side of the crossbar and on the other side. That way it'll hold this end in place. This part right here is the most difficult part is getting it started and it's not really hard at all. Lay it down that crossbar and make sure your zip tie is twisted the correct way or else it won't zip. I need to have this above my head, but I couldn't figure out how to do it and get a good shot. And I'm going to pull that one down as tight as I can get it and snip off the end. Okay. Now, we're going to use our handy dandy tools and put your hand right here. And I'm, in, I'm doing this backwards. Let me use this hand. 
right hand here and tuck it down. And I'm going to hold on to that, pinch it right where it touched the frame, go back under these two, and zip tie it down. And I'm going to, I don't know if I want to put, some people have put three, some have put four in each section, and I don't know how many I'm going to do. And I'm only using zip ties because that's what they said to use. And I'm going to leave them facing up. That way it leaves the back nice and clean, and then I'm going to slide that over. And I'm just going to end up repeating this step over and over again. Just using my hand to measure it out. Where did the end go? I need to stand up. I'm not used to crafting sitting down. Jamie, have you ever made one of these? They said not to tighten them down because you want to be able to push them together, but they're sliding just fine with them tight. The reason I'm doing it now like this instead of on uh, just recording it is because I wanted to see actually how long it takes. Like I said, I've never done this before. Oh, you don't make wreaths. Why? Do you just do uh, mums? For some reason, that one's not kitchen so we'll go to the next one <laughs> I'm uh, I'm using zip ties because that's what they used on the video that I watched and um, they definitely said that you could use uh, pipe cleaners but you can get all of this stuff at Dollar Tree uh, I think it's about the same cost need to start making a lot more uh, of my chains and braids and things getting ready for this fall let me use a different color just because I know I don't have enough of one I was outside earlier today and y'all it is 100 plus degrees here it's too daggone hot so that's four, and it looks like I want to do, I don't know, let me spread them out here. I think what I really ought to do is go ahead and spread these apart and see how full it is with just four. And when you open these up, that's how it's going to cover the wreath form. Let me try to mix it up a little bit. I don't, I'm not really going for any type of pattern. <clears throat> I do a lot of sewing in the off season, make jumbo scrunchies, makeup bags, trying some other stuff, just trying to figure out what I like making. Yeah. It, it's a trial and error thing because you never really know until you start. And of course, I get, um, I don't know if you're like me, but when I um, do something or, or get excited about starting something new, I will go out and buy everything that has to do with that thing. And um, then I figure out, you know, it takes too long. It's not something that I want to do. Uh, and realize that, um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have bought all that stuff. <laughs> Only reason I have made was for me and my sister, but there were all the or oh ornaments, yes. <clears throat> I 
I am thinking, I haven't made an ornament one in a long time. Lord knows I have a lot of Christmas ornaments. <coughs> Excuse me. That I don't really use. I don't put a lot of regular Christmas ornaments on my tree. So basically they would be for crafting. Alright, that is, oh, you can't see it. That's what that looks like, and that gives me about that much space. I might, because they're they're looking kind of squished, so I think I'm only going to do four in each section. That way, it'll give it some room to stretch out. That one wants to be over here, so let's let it. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put four in each section. And then that's going to leave me, uh, I think I should be doing this on the other side of my I'm probably going to have a lot of ribbon left over. We'll see when I get done. I also thought about making this a little bit more simple and just using uh, measuring out how far it is from this zip tie to this zip tie and then just taking some oh lord pipe cleaners and just measuring out and tying them on there where all you have to do is just attach them I'm not sure I'm not sure if that would make it easier or not This is one that's, you know, it doesn't take skill, which works for me. And it is using a lot of ribbon. So 40 yards of ribbon. Well, that's what I've got measured out anyway. But that's what I'm trying to do. I'm wondering if it would look good with, um, I'm going to flip this this way. There we go. I'm wondering if it would look good with just one kind of ribbon. I bet it would. But, oh, they use the deco mesh. Yes. Um, I've made deco mesh ribbon wreaths, and I like them, but, you know, I try to get it to where I can use a whole roll of the deco mesh all at one time, because I, what do you do with, you know, four pieces of deco mesh left? You know what I mean? I don't, it just, and I can't throw it away, because it costs money, and that's irritating. I used um, the pipe cleaners on that ribbon wreath that I just showed you. That's all put on with pipe cleaners. So, but I don't know if this makes a difference. On this one or not. So I'm almost halfway done with this. None of these are going to show, so I don't really think it matters what color you use. I think maybe that these, you can tighten them down more. And they stay tight with the and the uh, pipe cleaners. They're, they're, they would kind of loosen up a little bit. And on these, they look really good without adding a bow. You can if you want to. Y'all, if you're just joining, say hi and know that I'm only using Christmas ribbon because I could find four that went really well together and that I had enough of. 
I'm not doing a Christmas in July or June. I might do that in July. But it wasn't really intentional. Stop putting that over there. All right, how many do I have in this section? Okay. <clears throat> you see how much of this I have left? We're going to pray that I have enough. I didn't even pay any attention to the size of the wreath form that they were using. So I'm putting four sections of ribbon in each, four loops of ribbon in each section. And this one here is the crossbar. So I have three whole loops in here. And then this one jumped the crossbar from over here. And then this one jumped this crossbar. <clears throat> I don't know what size these are. Use whatever you got. That's what I did. My husband actually needed to use my, uh, hang on a minute. I thought it looked like, I did tie them on. Hey, hi, let, let me go. And, uh, I've seen lots of people, how'd you make the fall wreath? I thought it looked like you tied them on. I did. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Not like a rag wreath. Uh, Tessie, give me just a, a little bit to finish this and I'll show you. Basically, I can tell you while I'm making these. Hyla, I am making a Christmas ribbon wreath because the uh, I needed four ribbons that match that I had at least 10 yards of. And this is what I came up with. No, it's never too early for Christmas. Especially when it's 100 degrees outside. It just makes you feel cooler. But yeah, Tessie, I'll show you. Basically, uh, let me just tell you while I'm doing this. I um, had all that all Dollar Tree ribbon, and that was 100% Dollar Tree. Y'all lost count. Um, there's doggone it. That one, two, three, four. That one, one, two, three. One more in here, and then I'll jump over. I only have two more sections left, y'all. This is going pretty fast. Um, what was I talking about? ADD. Oh, the other one. Eight inches. And I just cut a Dollar Tree. And I think after I get done with this, I'll go back and um, count how many spools because they're all down here. And tell you how many spools of ribbon that I used for that thing. Um, and then I put five together. Five different uh, ribbons together. Crisscross them. And uh, then tied them with a... Uh, pipe cleaner and then just tied the pipe cleaner randomly around the wreath and then um, I went back because there were open spaces I went back with um, some of the uh, deco mesh tubing and I just wrapped it around my hand about three times, folded it in the middle, and tied that up with a couple of pieces of ribbon on the back just to make some little fill-ins. So, 
I did not put a, uh, a bow on it because there was no need. It was all ribbon. Y'all, I don't really... <laughs> My ribbon just went on the floor. That's okay. Let's just pray it stays together because if it doesn't, I'm going to be fighting it here in a minute. Yeah, I was just trying to use, I used, a, I think it was probably 10 or 12 rolls of, of the Dollar Tree ribbon, maybe even more. Guys, I got to pick this up because it's going to, it's going to all come undone from itself. <clears throat> I haven't seen that way. It looks so pretty. Oh, yes, ma'am. And if I have enough time, I'll probably have some extra ribbon left from this. I'll just show you real quick what I did with it. Almost done, y'all. With the with when I do the deco mesh wreaths, I, I kind of don't know when I have enough deco mesh on there, or when I have enough uh, when it's enough, you know. And it drives me nuts. So I'll just make one and <laughs> never finish it. One, two, three, one more whole one, and then we'll jump over to this last one. And I thought this was going to hurt my hands, but it doesn't. And I might regret not putting more loops in each section, but maybe not. I should have put my glasses on, guys. I, you know, a couple years ago, I didn't need glasses until about three years ago. <laughs> Doggone it, I dropped it again. Oh, no, it's right here. Um, and I went from not needing glasses to uh, having to have trifocals because I'm nearsighted and farsighted and I have an astigmatism in both eyes. And I, haven't, I don't wear my glasses very often, but I've gotten to where I have to wear it when I'm doing anything with detail because, uh, yeah, stuff gets blurry quick. Um, some of the projects really make my hands cramp. Yeah, this is not too bad. I have carpal tunnel in both of my hands, y'all. I've had surgery on both of my hands, and I still have carpal tunnel in both of my hands. Um, and, you know, decorating cakes and cookies and piping and all that stuff doesn't help it, but it's what I do. All right, one, two, a couple more, y'all. And I have plenty of ribbon left here. One of the guys that I watched, he just left the ribbon and actually tied it, tied it up and made a couple of loops and then cut it and just left the ribbon tails. Um, I didn't like how that looked. It was like, it was messy. I didn't like it. So I won't be doing that. Well, it's fighting. There we go. How many more? That's... No. One, two, three, four. Let me see. And then I'm going to do one more and end it right here.
And I'm going to cut this first. This is what I have left out of that 40 yards. I know my hands are in the way. Uh, ooh, carpal tunnel. Yes, it does. Yeah, oh, and I meant to, to y'all, I can't finish a thought. I'm just saying. Um, uh, I'm having to use it way more because I'm getting older. I just turned 49 last month. And, yeah. I'm getting mad because, not because I'm getting older, y'all. I'm, I'm proud that I survived this long. Um. It wasn't for lack of trying, and I'm, yeah, it was stupid decisions on my part at a younger age. But anyway, <clears throat> it's just, I'm, I'm getting older, and I have to wear the dang glasses. Um, uh, I haven't made a ribbon wreath in years. I don't know either. Um, I'm half deaf, and hope to never need glasses would be, <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> Honey, I'm. I'm not laughing at you, but I love your sense of humor. <laughs> this is what we have left. I'll measure that out in a minute. All right. Yeah, I, I think what you, it's 20. Yes, I was born in 73. So I did. I turned 49 this year. Um. And if any of you ever talk to my husband, you tell him, um, I deserve a big old 50th birthday party next year. A big old bash. Alright, y'all, we're just going to separate these out. And fluff them. Come on. I think this is probably the hard part. Because, uh... Put the red over there. I almost think it might be easier to fluff these with the pipe cleaners. Do y'all call them pipe cleaners? So, what are they called? What is that? Chenille stems? Everybody's trying to... They're pipe cleaners, y'all. Old men used to use them to clean out their pipes. Don't ask me when somebody decided that they would be a good, you know, craft item. But they were used to clean out pipes. <laughs> when I... I don't know if I told y'all. Uh, when I was an officer. And... <clears throat> um. Jamie, I'm going to I'm not going to reveal my age. Really make y'all all feel old. <laughs> oh, Jamie, you can tell us. I don't feel old. I don't feel old at all. Um, mentally, physically is a different story. <laughs> mentally, I'm good, babe. Uh, anyway, I was a, a police officer for years, and uh, my first field training officer, my very first police job, smoked a pipe. I loved him so much. He was freaking awesome. He is still Sarge to this day. Uh, I'm trying to get these separated out evenly to where we don't have a set pattern. Y'all, this is actually going way faster than what I, I, I anticipated. I don't think I would mind making these as long as it turns out nice. And I think it's going to. I think I might end up making a few of these to sell. Uh, I say both, too. Three teenagers, 17, 15, 13, and a one-year-old. Oh, Jamie girl, a one-year-old after <laughs> built-in babysitters. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I bet you that it's a really, really, really fun having that one-year-old. 
now. My husband w w had two kids before we got together, and um, he wanted to wait like five years to have kids, and I, I kept um, his youngest, and um, she was in diapers, and y'all know we did not have an affair. Um, they, she found out she was pregnant after they separated and couldn't get a divorce till afterwards. Anyway, to not get too... Um, personal but she she was in diapers when he and I got together and when we got married he wanted to wait five years and I was like um I don't think so no sir uh, we are not waiting five years we're going to get we will wait two years so Michaela was a year old when we got married and then a year after we were married, we started trying. And then, so she is two and a half years older than Cody, my son. And Cody is two and a half years older than Matthew. I said, we are not getting one up out of diapers and in school and starting all over. I'm like, you can, but you ain't going to do it with me. I said, we have never, ever had a childless marriage and by childless I mean kids grown and gone uh, we ain't waiting that long we 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 gonna have our kids we gonna get them grown get them adult get us some grandbabies and enjoy our years <coughs> um, it's different than I remember you know what you probably don't want to remember. <laughs> they have so much new stuff. I have two grandbabies now. And, uh, 50, uh, Tessie, you need to be teaching us a thing or two, babe. My best friend is, how old is she? She's six years older than me. She'll be 55 this year? Yeah. One of my best friends. Um, age is just a number, babe. It's just the number. And happy early birthday. Are y'all even able to see what I'm doing? Are we in a girl's chat? <laughs> that was, no, that needs to be in the middle. No. What am I doing? Y'all can't even see. I'm standing up. Because <clears throat> this chair, me trying to lean over, is not working. Y'all, I'm loving how this is turning out. It ain't perfect yet, but <clears throat> I'm absolutely loving the way that it's turning out. Yeah, this part's going. what's going to take the longest. Let me put some red buffalo check over here. Now we'll put it over there. We're over halfway done pulling this out. <clears throat> what I could teach y'all would be out of style. No. Uh, it'll be out of style for a couple of minutes and then it'll come right back. Watch. Thank you so much. I love your name. <laughs> I really, really love your name. Is anybody um, on from around San Antonio? When you said, when I looked at your name, it's Tessie. I'm on the school board here, and there is a, a lady that's on the school board with us, and her name is Tressie. It is simple. Simple, simple. 
I like the ones that require no, um, what do I call it? No skill. None. Red, black and white. Three more, guys. Anyway, we're going to, I have um, a school board, and we're going to conference next week, and I'm super excited. It's This is the first one since 2019 that we've been able to go to because, excuse me, because of COVID, and um, it's just really a, a good time. We learn a lot, bring a lot of stuff back, but we're right there on the Riverwalk in San Antonio. It's just a really, really fun time. Y'all, I don't think that I would need to put an extra one in any spaces on here. Look at that. I'm going to tilt you up. Okay. Super simple. Now, I could sit here and mess with this all day long, but I'm not going to. Um, it is thin enough. Um, the wreath looking awesome. Look, um, the wreath does look good and so simple. Uh, yes, they're wired ribbon. Yes, I did not say. Um, nice and full in the DFW area. I'm the fifth child, and we all have names that start with a T. <laughs> the metal truck from the Dollar Tree would look good. Oh, yes, it would. I bet you I have one. I bet you I have one. Um, but I also bet you that it's packed up and in my storage building. So, but anyway, this could be a door hugger, you know, to go in between your door and your storm door, your screen. Everybody calls it a storm door. It's a dagger screen door. That's what it is. Um, it's thin enough that it would fit in between there. Y'all, I think I'm going to be making a few more of these to get rid of all these extra spools of Dollar Tree ribbon. Northeast Texas. Oh, Hila, yes. Um, we went to, the last time we went up to Fort Worth. So, um, but we normally, I only went to Fort Worth because my son was marching in the band at Disney. And um, during the one in San Antonio. So the one in Fort Worth was the next one. But that was okay. I got to spend some time, just me and Tressie, and then I actually got to go see my cousin who lives up there. And we spent some time, recreated one of our childhood photos. Uh, and it was ridiculous. It was fun. But this childhood photo had wine in it instead of Barbie dolls. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway. Also the one that um, I have promised to wait to go see the new Top Gun movie. Because when I was up there in 2019... Uh, we figured out that it was coming out. It was supposed to come out in 2020, and we all know what happened. Hey, TJ. We all know what happened. It didn't come out until, you know, just now. And I went and bought a shirt that says, Talk to me, Goose, and everything. And it. Uh, we've waited, what, three years to see it? Let me grab this other wreath. What did I do with it? There we go. <clears throat> but now I can't go up there. I cannot go up there. So, y'all, this was simple. I am seriously thinking about making some more of these and using up all my Dollar Tree ribbon that I won't use on anything else because I can't get it to look good. Anyway, there is that. And you almost can't tell that it's Christmas until you get up close to it. And, of course, the colors. But, um... Yeah, I think I'm going to do a couple more of those. <coughs> hey, there's six people. I'm so excited. All right, Tessie, let me show you this real quick. Um, let me just grab a red. So all I did, this is the one that I was making during Hyla's thing. Um, 
we're close, but I rarely go to the Dallas area. Um, and I finished it today because it didn't look good and I just put it down and walked away. That's what I do. That's why I have half finished stuff all over the place. Um, I have a friend that she does the same thing. She has ADD. I have ADD. And um, if it doesn't, you know, like that wreath, y'all, I can make a hundred of those because I can get them done. That wreath is finished. I don't have to do anything else to it. And I'm excited. I could be done with it. Now, I can come back later and add more stuff on it if I want to, but I don't have to. I can be done with that. But this one was driving me nuts and it's hot outside and I needed something to do in here. So let me grab some of the um, deco mesh, not the deco mesh, the uh, mesh tubing real quick. And um, I'll just show you how I made these uh, pieces to go on there. Coming right back, y'all. <clears throat> I am on. I, these are what I had out to do the other one. I'm just going to use the green. The green will go with it just fine. So let me set this over here. Right there is fine. Alright. So I used the Dollar Tree ribbon. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut these uh, all together. Touch back down. And I've got my pipe cleaner. So, I'm going to measure this out to about 8 inches. And I did not be cut them or anything. Let me go ahead and cut. And y'all, I might take what I make on this and put it on that other wreath. Y'all, it depends on what it looks like. Thanks, four, eight. That'll give me five. You can do four. You can do whatever you want. So, I separated them out. And, of course, I had about eight or ten different ones, not just four. So, and then I took two and I crisscrossed them. And then I took another two and I crisscrossed them. And then I stuck one down the middle. And then I gathered it up. I already had these all cut in half. And see, that's not even that's not even fully in the middle, y'all. It doesn't matter. You ain't gonna be able to tell once you get them all on there. And twist it up. And then I just attached these all the way around with this right there. And then for the fillers, because it wasn't full enough, I just took my hand and wrapped this around three times. Make sure your ends are all on the back side. And then find your middle. and tie it up to make a little poof and then I ended up taking a couple more ribbon and I'm just going to go ahead and use all three of these since they're cut. I only used two on that wreath for these. Stuck this down in and use that to tie it. Yes. Um, where, oh, y'all, I'm, I'm behind. You know, I'm let me, yes. Yes, I do know you love you some tubing. <laughs> so, um, that is how I did these. I just did a bunch of different ones, and still, everything on this wreath came from the Dollar Tree. 100% Dollar Tree ribbon. I just started pulling out ribbon. Matched this right here because I had like five rolls of that. Don't ask me why I had so many of them. Um, but you could still see the wire once I got the ones that I made attached and I just threw it down and walked away. 
<laughs> but yeah and then I need to come through here and cover the back um, to cover up all of these pieces but yeah I didn't V cut any of the stuff because that would have taken a long time now if I'm using the ribbon in my uh, deco mesh wreaths, I will V cut those Let's see what this will look like on here. I think that'll take away from it. I don't think I want to put anything on here. Nah. Nope. I'm going to leave it like this until I decide if I'm going to put something in the middle or not. And then... Um, like, they, they left all of these things hanging down, and, uh, uh, I'm not, I'm in no, I need Dollar Tree to come back out with the white and silver tubing. I think I have some of that, it's my favorite, and I need some more, I'm in no position to ask why you have so many rolls of ribbon. Hyla, I, I, I said at the beginning of this that I, um, this is, I'm doing this for selfish reasons, and, um, because I've ran out of room to store my ribbon, and I promised myself I wasn't going to do the shop and drop, shop, and drop it on the floor and go through and figure out where to put it later. So for me to purchase more, which you know I want to, then I have to use some of them. <laughs> Hopefully I can make some money off of some of this stuff and use that money to buy more ribbon. <laughs> Isn't that why we do this anyway? Uh, yes. So, all of, yeah. Now, I'm lying. I bought a couple of things of tubing at King Dollar in Brenham. What I might do is go to King Dollar and show y'all the shop and drop. Yes. <laughs> well, over here in my craft room, if my husband comes in the door right there or comes through the kitchen right there, he can't see what's on the floor up there. He doesn't know I've been shopping. Now, it's my money, and I'll buy what I want, but if you can't see it, you can't ask questions about it. <laughs> um, yeah, so, out of sight, out of mind. If he don't see it, he can't question me. I'm just kidding. He knows I buy ribbon. Um, but he doesn't know the extent of it until he comes in and sees it displayed. So, he won't notice you know, that I used all of this one and replaced it with a brand new one. He'll just look and say, oh, your ribbon is full. You don't need any more ribbon. Well, no, at this point I don't. But as soon as I use that, I can go buy another one. See how that works? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, I have way too much ribbon and other stuff too. Yeah when it comes to craft supplies. I'm sitting over here looking at all these Dollar Tree signs. Y'all, I just need to sell them. I just need to sell them. Because I bought them so I could have them and use them when I want to, but y'all, you can only hold on to that stuff for so long. <coughs> I'm just kidding. You can hold on to it for a long time. Just, just ask me. TJ, yes, I love... Um, Amazon. <laughs> I love me some Amazon. Yeah. I want to show y'all one more thing before I get off here. Because I need to go cook. And I just covered this up. This is Miss TJ. Do, do a video. I'm going to tell you the four bags of ribbon I have with no room or some of the less common colors for mums. Just got it. Hey. Paper Mart. Jamie, yes. Um the I I buy the I buy black and white and silver and green and maroon. Those are the ones that I keep stock of. Um, 
Now I have to keep stock of the um, royal blue because some friends that, that I do the... God, I've been doing their most 12 years now. Uh, they, they went to a different school district, so I had to get the blue. Um, but other than that, I, I can't... I don't want to buy the not so um, normal colors for that until I have, because I don't want to hold on to it for that long. Now, if it was, you know, something that I wanted to make, <laughs> it might be different. <coughs> I need to look up Paper Mart. Or probably not. Um, and highlight, I. I only buy what I need for the, the, the colors. I'll paint trinkets. I'll use a lot of black and white and silver or gold if that's what they want. Um, and I'll paint trinkets and I'll make what mostly what I have work. But y'all haven't seen in these drawers. Well, you may have seen in those drawers. I have a lot of grain ribbon and stuff. So if it's if I can make my, um, my chains and braids and things out of the black and white and then run the color through it, I've, most of the time I don't have to go out and buy a specific color because I can add the um, baloney, y'all I can't even think, I can add the colors in on top of the black and the white or on top of the silver or the gold with other kinds of ribbon besides mum ribbon. Tessie, I just heard about it and just added everything. To, oh, no, no, no. We're going to have to do an intervention with TJ. As I go find Paper Mart and add stuff to my cart, too. I buy all colors. You know the mark of a new moment. Oh. I used to. I used to. But I can't. I, I, oh, my shirt's driving me crazy. I can't. But I can buy every color of a different kind of ribbon. That I can do. Alright. I want to show y'all this. My father-in-law passed away in November of last year. And um, Father's Day is coming up. It's actually on Sunday. <laughs> so um, we're going to take the wreath that I made for him using his bunker gear. My father-in-law was, I think, 50 plus years in our volunteer fire department and um, we had his, his bunker gear I, I took pieces of it and made a wreath and uh, then we had the rest of it, had it hanging up at, at the funeral service and everything and these are his boots these are his fire boots and um, around his ceremony, around his funeral, I wasn't able to get an arrangement made in this. Um, but y'all, I didn't buy anything for this either. I had to fill these boots up because it, it's a little bit windy now. And um, I didn't want it to fall over, so I dug some dirt up out the yard and put it in the bottom. And, uh, and all of this is stuff that I had around. So, yeah, this is going to go out to the cemetery along with his, um, his wreath that I made for the funeral. It says Daddy on it, and it's got pieces of bunker gear tied in with the deco mesh, and it's just really, really cool. I don't know. Let me back up there. I'm super excited about this. I've had these sitting in here since November. I E6000 them together. <clears throat> anyway, thank y'all. Um, that's a gorgeous arrangement. I don't even have space for ribbons. I have it all now. <laughs> Different types. Yes, TJ. I, I get excited over ribbon myself. Um, yeah. Okay, y'all.
I am going to go. I'm going to look around and see if I can find some more ribbon to make. Um, I'm lying. Hang on. I promised I would tell y'all how many spools of ribbon it took. And know how I'm not keeping my ribbon spool ends. How many? This was for that fall ribbon. That's five. And there's nothing bad in this trash. I promise you. I completely redid my front room um, to where I could allow people to come in and uh, purchase things. So I've kind of got it set up to where I can hang up all my mums up there. Okay, that is it. So, one, two, three, four, five, ten spools of ribbon. And save one of these smaller packs. And I didn't even use the, I didn't even use the whole one. But it was this color. So, one of those, ten spools of ribbon. And I didn't use, I, it, it might have ended up being a whole um, deal of the deco mesh ribbon. So, plus the wreath form. So, 1, 2, 12, 13 times 1.25. Can somebody figure that out? 13 times $1.25. And that's how much I spent on that fall ribbon. But that Christmas ribbon with the better ribbon was only 10 bucks. Yes, Hyla, it would, it would drive me nuts to say things. The hole is too big. I would have to fix it. Sixteen twenty-five. So, Dollar Tree is not always cheaper, y'all. It is not always cheaper, and I have to I have to remind myself that um, when you have to use a lot of something. If you just need a little bit of something, it might be. But if you have a Sam's, go to Sam's. Seven dollars. And they have it in spring and in fall for Christmas. I will be going there probably. I go there all the time. Thank you, Hyla. Um, that's what I would worry about. What were you worried about? Just make sure to go pick it up before the cemetery throws it. Oh, no, Jamie. Um, my husband is the fire chief in our town. We have a small town. Um, my father-in-law was um, in the fire department for 50 plus years, same fire department. And um, I used to work for the city. I was, uh, I was a police officer here in this city. So we know a lot of the people that work for the city and not that we're getting any special treatment, but I also know that you get two weeks before and two weeks after a holiday and to before you can before they start moving things and as long as it's up to where the monument is supposed to be they won't mess with it so i'm not worried about it i am not worried about it um because they know me and um <laughs> they know that, that don't mess with Connie. <laughs> i'm just saying um no it's not not when you need a lot of something yes so I'm not worried about I'm not worried about the cemetery at all. Uh, we probably won't leave it out there for that long. Um, we will take it out there on Father's Day. And um, y'all, can you? How can you not constantly fuss with the loops? Anyway, I'm gonna make a bunch more of these. I do believe I'm gonna use up my um, ribbon, and I'm gonna make one of these with the Dollar Tree ribbon because I want to see what it looks like. And I'm actually going to see what it would look like just using three. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because it's, you can't see all of these. And I think that three, you would be able to see them all. So, that's what I'm going to do right now whenever I get off of here. Anyway, thank y'all for joining me. Yes, Tessie, it was nice visiting with you too. And happy birthday on Wednesday. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.